review of the graph of E and natural log of X since it's been a little bit of time since we've done those, or actually any exponential function. But I'm going to specifically do E since they, that seems to cause more trouble. If you recall, the key thing is to remember the key numbers for graphing E. We know 0, 1, 2, where E to the 0 power, of course, is 1. E to the first is 2.7, and you'll hopefully remember E to the second is 7.4. All exponential functions have a horizontal asymptote at 0, and they all pass through the point 0, 1. In this case, then, we're going over 1, up 2.7, and then finally up 7.4. Exponential functions rise very quickly. Natural log is exactly the reverse. So I use that same t-table, put the 0, 1, 2 on the right, and put my 0, 2.7, and 7.4, sorry, not 0, but 1, on the left. Consequently, since it's an inverse, it has a vertical asymptote, and it crosses at 1, 0 over on the right side. Natural logs rise very slowly compared to the exponential functions that rise very quickly. So this time I would be going over 2.7, up 1, over 7.4, up to. And a log will then rise very slowly. Our issues tend to come with how do I flip E the natural logs or actually any logarithmic function, not just these. And so um, I'm going to do some quick drawing here just as reminders. If I was to give you a negative e to the x, or any negative exponential function, the negative front takes you over the x-axis, so normally this e is going upward on the right-hand side, so now it's still got its horizontal asymptote, but and it's crossing at one below the axis, it's going to go downward in the same point. If I was to give you e to the negative x, then we know, same thing, it's still got its horizontal asymptote, but now when you put the negative on the x inside the function, it flips it over the y-axis, so in this case, it would still be crossing 0, 1, but it's going to actually be what we call exponential decay. It's going to come down. Okay, logs for some reason seem to have more issue. If I flip a log upside down by putting a negative in front of it, that means it's still got its same asymptote, but it is now, what is it normally above the axis will be below, and what's normally below will be above. So that means we're going up the asymptote, and it's curving down beneath the axis. And last but not least, if I put a negative on the x, such as y equals natural log of a negative x inside the function, then that, of course, means I have flipped over the y-axis. And so, still have my vertical asymptote, but I would now be crossing at 1 to the left side of the axis, curving off to the left. Okay. You need to be familiar with these because I won't lie to you. There are, there's a little bit of graphing of EU natural log on this final exam. It is, of course, multiple choice, but you still have to know which way to flip things. So prepare for that one.